You must be naked to use this system. What? <laughs> all right, well, we know we can get up here. If we find a VR program, we can take off all our clothes and use VR. All right, we are checking out a game called Space Wreck. Space Wreck is a turn-based, isometric, pixel graphic, uh, post-apocalyptic space RPG uh, that is in early access on Steam. It's in early access by way of a free demo, so there's uh, little to no barrier to entry there. I am sure I will have left a link in the description, but if I have forgotten and you want to check this out, uh, if you search Space Wreck on Steam, I'm positive that the first two results will bring you both to the demo. Um, I am recording this uh, the day before, or maybe the, the two days before uh, Steam Next Fest uh, happens in February of 2022. Um, and I mention that because I believe the dev will be adding new content to the demo uh, in some manner for Steam Next Fest. So maybe by the time this gets posted, there'll be even more to see and do in the demo. Um, but I found out about this uh, today via uh, uh, just a random tweet. I was not following the developer account and Twitter was just like, uh, hey, people like you like to look at stuff like this. And I thought the art looked cool. And in poking around in their marketing, uh, quickly determined it was very relevant to my interests. Um, in the devs' words, uh, this is a game in the vein of the original Fallout games, Fallout 1 and 2, uh, and just, you know, CRPGs in general. Um, I have not played any of the old school CRPGs like Fallout 1 and 2, anything like that. Um, but every new game that is inspired by those games, the old school CRPGs, or is just a CRPG, they end up being some of my favorites. I don't play them necessarily correctly. I just mentioned that as a warning for anybody who's really into CRPGs and would get frustrated that someone possibly not playing them the way you're quote unquote supposed to play them. Um, I like to just kind of go out and adventure. And I know with a lot of those games, uh, you know, you, it's not hard to find for games like Pathfinder and Pillars of Eternity and Divinity uh, guides on exactly how to build characters and when to take points and when to take abilities so that you can optimize uh, what you're creating is ultimately a tool to accomplish a goal. Um, I actually just really like exploring the creativity of the various devs. Uh, I like seeing how the worlds are built, exploring the lore, exploring the characters and their stories. And uh, if you like that kind of thing, there is no better type of game than CRPGs, even if you don't pay attention to the actual mechanics. Um, even the best AAA game with the greatest story kind of can pale in comparison uh, to some CRPGs and their intricacy and ways in which the, the character can kind of pull at threads and find stories on their own. So yeah, I like to just go in and bumble and uh, some of the absolute best games are like, yeah, okay, you locked out, you locked yourself out of a number of ways we intended you to accomplish goals, but there's more than one way to skin a cat and there's a bunch of ways to do things. And so that brings us right back to Space Wreck and looking at this game, a lot of their marketing was like combat is 100% optional. And that immediately tells me with an RPG that uh, there's probably hacking and sneaking and maybe some dialogue choices and maybe non-lethal combat and maybe some lethal combat. And uh, it seems to be all of those things. Uh, I have I've messed around a little bit with this and we'll talk about that in a second, but it seems to be all of those things. Uh, and additionally, from the in, the stated intent of the devs, uh, they are trying to produce a game that is an inverse of the common saying a mile wide and an inch deep. And that's something that is expansive, but there's not a lot to do in it. And so you could think of a game that has a huge open world but maybe the quests are kind of meaningless and they just don't feel like they connect or there's just, you know, not a lot of substance to the world. They're trying to make a game that is a little bit shorter, but there's a lot of what you would say in the game industry, the, that hot term of replayability. So that will remain to be seen, but that's the intent of the devs. Uh, we, I am going into this uh, with my expectations adjusted. Uh, it's an indie developer. It's a two person team. And as best I can tell, they don't have anything else under their belt. I think their Twitter profile says they have a couple of other games, but there's nothing on Steam. And I didn't look around on itch.io or any of those places to see if there were other things. So uh, just adjusting expectations there. I'm not expecting, uh, you know, a Divinity or a, a Disco Elysium. So uh, I'm waiting right here because when once I get in this ad game actually j dives right into uh, story and gameplay uh, with a voiceover and, a, and some some explanation that will help us understand what we're doing. So I'll, I'll sit back and be quiet for that. I have messed around with this a little bit. Uh, the demo is a self-contained area. Uh, and my understanding is that the full release is going to be 
uh, a number of small maps that are somewhat self-contained. Uh, and there are multiple endings to this demo that are listed here. And I've already discovered one uh, in my uh, brief time messing around with this. Now, I discovered this one uh, through a game-breaking bug um, that I was able to exploit twice, once to break my game and then once to unbreak my game. And we'll get into that as we uh, start to play. But I mentioned that uh, to note that, again, it's an early access. It's a small team. There are bugs. It's rough around the edges. There's some issues with... Uh, you know, the text on screen, there's language and spelling issues. There's certainly various little tiny bugs and some are frustrating and some are not. And even like I said, I discovered a, a game breaking bug, but I was able to exploit it twice. Um, it will remain to be seen as does with any EA, uh, how much the developer can patch out. But like I said, I've adjusted expectations. Uh, what I've experienced with this game so far, it's actually really charming and really interesting. And I've had a lot of fun with it. And I intend uh, to pick it up unless some catastrophe strikes as can happen on occasion with indie devs where they they go a wall uh but we'll hope that's not the case with this uh, dev because this looks really promising all right so without further ado let's jump in in the 22nd century humanity is spread across the solar system wild capitalization of the markets has sparked bloody clashes between corporations and asteroid miners spiraling into anarchy you are an inexperienced captain, fresh out of the academy on your first voyage. Being a complete outsider to the crew, they don't seem to have much respect for you or your command. To make matters worse, your ship is targeted by asteroid pirates, and the blast of a stray ion torpedo damages the fuel controller chip. Somehow the ship manages to limp away to a nearby space wreck in hopes of finding a replacement. But someone has to go get it. The crew proposes a lottery to determine who will. Despite your status as the captain, you feel compelled to participate. Everyone draws the straws, but you get the short one. You manage to cover only half a distance when your shuttle unexpectedly runs out of fuel. Luckily, there is an abandoned space station nearby. You land, hoping to replenish the fuel tanks of the stranded shuttlecraft. Air hisses as the hatch opens. Stepping outside on broken tiles of the derelict station, you have no idea what to expect. But one thing is clear. There is no way forward without fuel. All right. Annoying voice over radio. Captain, wake up. You have arrived. Uh, indeed, I just landed. The shuttle tanks are completely empty. You must find fuel here. Fuel, got it. Let me just get ready, and we're going to the character creation screen. All right, so I think for this round, um, we'll create a character. We'll create our own character. I'm going to focus on uh, charisma, what's typically called charisma. I think in this game it's called charm. We'll see in a second. And then uh, we'll poke around in here. Uh, I'll play for about an hour, uh, I suppose. Um, unless we get uh, really wrapped up in, in something cool happening. And this will be uh, what should probably be a kickoff to a, a, a series that I've wanted to bring to the channel for a while, which is just like a free play series, not uncommon on channels where I kind of play whatever I want, whether it's a one-off or a mini series or an old game, a new game, a random game, whatever. And what better way to kick it off than with a game uh, that is a demo that is uh, a very concise and small experience. So uh, yeah, we're not gonna take one of these pre-mades We'll go and create our own character, and like I said, we'll focus on, um, probably, I think, let's focus on charm for sure, for sure, and that'll be our likability of one's persona, the more charming you are, the more forthcoming other people are to you, uh, or they're ready to listen and accept your ideas, uh, and affects first impression conversations, and, oh, sex appeal, interesting. So let's throw at least a couple points into charm, for sure, um, and we'll check out what these others do. Work. Genius is 1% of talent, 99% hard work. Don't rely on attributes you are born with. Invest in invest work to improve your skills. Every point in work grants you one additional skill point. Uh, this attribute is also directly related to the rate at which you gain XP. All right, so that's an interesting one. We might throw some points in here because then I get um, an additional skill point. These, I think these are the skill points over here, um, which means I will bet uh, these also affect this. Like, if I toss the point into speech... Hmm, doesn't say. 
Uh, speech is the ability to formulate an argument in conversation. High speech allows you to convince others. Yeah, I mean, they're related. I'm not seeing, it's not like I'm seeing an immediate increase in charm, but I'm, it affects the same things charm does. So we'll probably throw at least a point into work. Perception is your eyesight, hearing, and rest of the senses. Uh, intuition and general awareness. Yeah, okay, so not necessarily a bug. And again, like I said, this is early access and we're gonna uh, adjust our expectations accordingly. Like I said, I think I mentioned it's a two-person team. It's not a full-time dev team. Um, one of the biggest and most early access <laughs> elements of this game uh, is there's a lot of work needed for um, a lot of the text in the game. There's some misspellings, there's some poor grammar, uh, things like that. Nothing game-breaking by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it has been a little jarring reading into a microphone. Uh, so what I'll probably uh, will have done uh, with this is I will uh, cut out any stumbling of trying to figure out anything we're reading, and I will just do a take of me reading what I think the developer is trying to say. Uh, and like I said, I poked around a little bit, and I found a couple of those where I had to take a second and go, Okay, I think I, I think this is what we're we're trying to say here. Um, I am fairly certain all that stuff is being worked on uh, to the best of the devs' abilities. Like I said, with a two-person team, you got to go in understanding that they have to be, you know, acceptable to good at all things, every single piece of a business, not just writing or design or programming or whatever. So, be giving a pretty wide berth there, uh, f personally, even if that doesn't end up being perfect in the final release. So. Uh, we got awareness spelled wrong, but who cares? That's fine. But like I said, in case you see me reading something that isn't as it's written on the screen, we'll know why. Um, so eyesight, hearing, and the rest of the sentences, rest of the senses, intuition, and general awareness, and the ability to quickly assess a situation. Good per perception allows you to read people. Interesting. It affects conversations, fire, arm range, and map awareness. Um, all right, cool. That's interesting. Let's see what focus does. Uh, discipline and mental strength, the ability to concentrate on the task at hand. High focus lets you detect lies, but if it's too low, you cannot keep track of long conversations. That's very interesting. We may throw some points that way. Physical, we're not going to be very interested. We can be a weakling. Um, we can't take any more. We can't be zero. We'd probably be dead if we were zero. Very interested in focus. We'll throw a point there. Oh, and that gives us three points to spend on speech, which means we can throw an extra one into speech which means we're really going to be good in conversations, which I like that idea. Um, there are, are a number of characters to interact with on this map, so that'll be fun. Uh, SciTech, uh, Applied Science and Modern Technology allows you to interact with even increasingly complicated or protected computers. Hack them and grants you some familiarity with various technologies found on spaceships. Unlocks blueprints and recipes to be crafted with Tinker. All right, oh, and Tinker's the next skill. Uh, I'm not going to worry about Sneak, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to match Speech and SciTech which I think, with our charm up really high, we're really covered with speech, and then this will give us a leg up if we want to hack computers uh, or deal with other technologies. So, yeah, I think that's a good start. Uh, and we will pick uh, mail. Oh, and that gives us a point into... Oh, it gives us a bunch of stuff. All right. So, raises our HP, raises our physical, and raises our carry weight. All right. Hmm. Seems like women get the short end of the stick in this game. <laughs> All right. Subject fit for the position of captain, negotiator. Subject's best asset is its communication skills. A negotiation, 67%. Hacker, 60%. Awesome. Covert operator, 42%. Engineer, 33%. Soldier, 28%. Fragile can die from a single hit. Combat, not recommended. We're going to be trying to avoid combat. Civilian, absolutely useless in combat with or without a gun. <laughs> Space Academy is legally obliged to inform you that the accuracy of this assessment is 23%. Love it. So... Uh, we have landed on this uh, derelict space station, uh, and we're going to go explore around. Um, one of the things that uh, I have noticed is when you are out in the void of space, which even inside of this derelict space station, there are some areas that are, are out or without pressure or atmosphere. Uh, you get this uh, effect on the edges of the screen. Um, though I have not seen uh, an effect for getting hit. Um, and I mentioned that because of the very first time I launched into this game, I walked all the way over here, which we will do right now. And we, we can float a little because we're in space. Uh, that's actually a setting in the main menu. You can choose fly and walk combination for moving, and it makes it move a little quicker, so I set that. Um, but when I first launched into the game, I was like, oh, I'm about to go inside this place. I wonder if there's, like, workers in here. And so I took this guy's overalls. I took all his stuff. He's got a toilet pass. We'll take that. We'll take that screwdriver as well. Those things become useful for 
getting through, like, opening up vents and robots and stuff if you have the ability to do it. Uh, but I took his overalls and I immediately put them on, and then I slowly died. And I didn't realize it was because I'm out in space. I need my spacesuit on, which is what I have on right now. All right, we're not going to take his piece of pipe because that is a weapon. It's got that little weapon symbol, uh, and we're not hugely worried about that. Um, if we hold shift, we'll come back. You know what? We'll go back over to these remains and see if we can open them up. So there are some some interesting things with pathfinding. Uh, oh, there. Yeah, so th right there is exactly what I was going to get into. So there's some issues with pathfinding at this moment, particularly how move orders stack. I've ran into some some mildly frustrating problems with that when you panic, try to get away from someone shooting a gun at you. Um, sometimes the character will accept a move order and then stop in their tracks and you can give them an alternate move order, but sometimes they still want to complete that first move order even after they do. So it's like it stacks and then wants to run through all the orders you've given it. So right there, uh, the character walked into the wall, stopped right there. I wanted them to step aside from the wall and because I've given that as the last move order, that should cancel out any other order. Uh, but instead, he finished out the order to go and interact with this uh, cam bot. And the reason that can be a little bit frustrating is uh, you click a move order that's like way down a hallway, and then all of a sudden there's an enemy in between you and your, your goal you wanted to get to. So you're like, oh crap, I've got to go somewhere else because this enemy's going to kill me. And the enemy starts firing, you click somewhere else, but as soon as you land on that new move order, the final spot on that new move order, the character just wants to go where he was originally told to go, and you can't seem to cancel that, so. It either needs, like, a cancel order button, uh, like in Kenshi, I think you can hit R to cancel a given order, or it just needs to automatically cancel out orders. Uh, so we've opened up this bot, this cam bot. Uh, these are the remains of a destroyed robot. With the right tools and knowledge, you can try to salvage something useful. Figure out the layout of the components using SciTech. Uh, having glanced over the structure, you quickly recognize the right access panel. Figure out what goes where and identify a few components that could be useful. The only thing that's left is to extract them. Uh, so we'll try and dismantle the innards and pull them out. Seems like you'll need a wrench uh, to access and extract the valuable items from the robot's frame. All right, so I'll have to find a wrench in that. We saw um, I have in my inventory, I picked up a screwdriver. Those are super important. So one of the other things you can do is you can hold shift uh, and it'll highlight things you can interact with, and we see that little exclamation point. I think I have low perception, uh, so, like, I'd have to walk all the way over to here for me to be able to know that I could interact with that. So if I hold shift over here, I actually don't have a high enough perception to see that I can interact with anything. However, uh, well, there's a container here. There's nothing in the container, uh, and it seems like there's a door here that we've opened. So let's step inside. So there, it seems like there is crafting in this game. I haven't messed around with it. Uh, but there's like a ton of little things to pick up, little different pieces of like types of junk and stuff. Uh, this container is locked with an electronic lock. You need the correct key card to open it. Let's see what happens if we pick the lock. If you had something small and conductive, a hairpin, for example, you could try to short circuit and trigger the locking mechanism. All right, we couldn't get in there and that's okay. We're gonna go check out these pills. We will take the, all of the pills. Um. We could probably use those against people. We'll take the pain kills. Uh, we see where we have a carry weight, so we need to be careful about the amount of things that we pick up. But we do need to make sure we hold on to our, our damaged fuel regulator. And I think it mentioned in the beginning, right now we're looking for fuel. Our ship ran out of fuel, so we're going to try to find some fuel. All right. We'll start with the welcome desk. We will interact with it. All right. Uh, let's see the instructions. Note, these instructions were meant for both newcomers to learn as a reference for, and as a reference for existing employees. Ask for ID, check ID into the database, uh, check carry-on luggage. Alright, so this is for when the smile, this is for when the, um, station was still open. Alright, explain the station layout. There's an outer ring, uh, with docking and temporary cargo and exchange services. An inner ring or promenade, uh, for recreation and entertainment. <coughs> Don't mention it without need, but the lower levels are off-limit, and the upper levels are only through invitation. Uh... If it is someone from corporate management, direct them to Superintendent Kai Nero. Her office is on the upper level, access from the elevator. Uh... From Space Dock North. If anybody is looking for a staff member, redirect them to the communal bedroom below Spaceport. Interesting. Uh, meeting and work areas is strictly forbidden. Uh, the facilities available are Q Market, Q Bar, VR Suites, politely wish a good stay. Yeah, so this station is completely derelict, so I, I think we're, there are, we can go see these things, but it's not like 
we don't, I don't think we really need to commit any of that to memory. <laughs> All right, Kai Nero, reminder. Reminder, please try to delete old emails from your workstation. Remember, less clutter is better. Be advised. Important information. Few individual troublemakers from distant mining stations have been known to craft makeshift weapons out of ordinary tools and equipment. One of those weapon types, colloquially known as Old Drill, is extremely dangerous. It can be fashioned out of just some junk wiring, an atomic battery, and a standard laser drilling bit. Notify security if anyone is trying to bring any of these items with her or him. Uh, please find attached a blueprint uh, document for the weapon as a reference. <laughs> Keep calm and do the job to the best of your ability, Superintendent Kai. Yeah, so one of the things I'm enjoying about this game is there is humor uh, mixed in throughout the game. Like, there, there's certainly, it's not a very serious game. They're trying to be a little humorous, and I'm digging that. So we picked up a blueprint uh, for an old drill, which just means when we find all the old drill things, I imagine we'll be able to craft. All right, we have to find Gus Guzzling. Nice. Uh, and escape the room. While finding fuel is critical, you also have a more immediate problem on your hands. First, you must find a way out of the room. The welcome terminal. Alright, so that's probably this. Alright. Let's see what we can do with this wall terminal. Frozen in place. Alright, there we go. Ah! Okay. Reloads. Somebody. Cambot. Stay back. Alright, we're gonna step out of sight. I have, like I said, I, I uh, launched into this game uh, prior um, and messed around. There's a few ways to get to and through things, uh, but I have gone talk to that person, so I intend to go talk to that person. Uh, but we'll get ourselves out of combat if we can first. Oh, don't. All right, I think we're out of combat. That's good. So he saw us when we walked over here, but I still want to go check out that wall terminal. We'll see if we can do it in a way that doesn't open that door. There we go. Interact. Okay, shipnet security console. Let's disable security. That is, uh, the cam bots, I believe. Uh, missing security ID card with appropriate clearance. I wonder if that's something we can find. I'm sure that it is. Alright, I love this little thing, but I haven't figured out... Oh, nice, we did it. So you get that little rolling dice animation, which is pretty cool, but... I haven't really figured out what those dice mean. Like, sometimes it doesn't look like they add up to the thing that you get. It could just be a display regardless of what the outcome is. It's just an interesting animation. But, I don't know, maybe as we play I'll figure it out. Welcome, super user. Uh, shut down security cam bots, adjust friend or foe, direct control. Interesting. Alright, I am worried that if I click on any one of these I'll lock out other choices. I don't actually know enough about the game to know if that is how things will work. Sometimes when you choose, uh, you know, whatever choices are presented to you in RPGs, it can immediately lock out other choices. I'm really interested in trying to turn these things into friends. Um, so we're gonna start there. Let's hope for the best. We do have decent sci tech, and we succeed. Yeah, then again, so... I don't know if it was saying that I had to get at least a three to pass. Or, I don't know, like I'm starting with three, and then I get plus two. I don't really- I'm not really understanding exactly what I'm seeing there. Maybe somebody else does, and they can drop it in the comments. Um, okay, you identify the code routine where the robot determines whether target is friendly or hostile. From that, you find the correlating database, and a few alterations later, the robots are now on your side. Awesome. Beautiful. That's a good start. Uh, we may have made the game substantially easier. <laughs> we will find out. Uh, we're gonna poke in here real quick before we... It's an empty container. And what's over here? Yeah, so, like, uh, one of the ways I did this, uh, or the way that I did this when I played it before, is I noticed that you can actually get here, and because the character can do these little flights because there's zero gravity, you can actually just hop to this side, and that's like another little broken open area. But for now, we're gonna step in and say hello. Oh, you know, we have a wrench now. Let's, uh, let's actually pop this open real quick first. All right, let's dismantle the innards. Ooh, tricky tinker. I don't know what one means. I'm not sure, but we succeeded. Maybe we got a two? I don't know. Oh, there's a cam bot gun. Do we have a gun? No, we'll take a cambot gun. We might need it, you never know, we'll take those. It's weighing us down a bit, but that's okay. So one of the things uh, that is in splash screens, I think, as you load, you, they show you different splash screens for stuff that like might not be so obvious, uh, is that if you have your weapon out, people are gonna take notice of that. Like, walking down the street with a gun in your hands, it's not a good idea. Oh nice, we got a hairpin. Alright, cool. We got a hairpin, so we technically can uh, try to pick locks now. I don't know if the hairpins are used up after one lock, but we can at least pick one lock. All right. Before we go talk to this lady, we're just gonna go test this out. I'm gonna walk here and see what the cam bot does. 
And she hasn't gotten upset. That's good. Cambot doesn't seem to care. Let's go talk to this lady. All right. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, let's try perception. We should be able to get that. It's tricky. Failure. Boo. <laughs> A boring older woman out of her comfort zone. She is obviously incapable to defend herself alone and needs constant protection. All right. Uh, I said, oh, hello, what's going on? She shrugs. Nothing I can't handle. There were two cam bots blocking the exit. I took care of one, but it tore up in my spacesuit. Had to fall back here and rethink. Uh, excuse me, but I must ask, who the heck are you and where did you come from? Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll be honest with her. I don't want to say I'm a scavenger. Well, she doesn't like scavengers. I don't know, whatever. All right, actually, I'm the captain of a stranded passenger ship. Passenger ship, as in, for, as in from Earth. Oh, la, la. I'm assuming they mean ooh, la, la. As in ooh, la, la, from Earth. Um, so what are you doing here? I don't know if we want to tell her that we got... We got fired upon, because I don't know if these are the people that fired upon us. But we'll say, uh, we say we ran out of fuel. Let's just say I was nearby. Yeah, that's probably going to make her suspicious. Well, they ran out of fuel. Ah, well, in that case, you're kind of in the right place. There should be a ton of fuel here. Oh, cool. But that is why we are here. And I'm not sure if Vilnius is ready to share with anyone. You'll have to ask him. Uh, does he control access to the fuel? Well, admittedly, no. At least not yet. But that's only a matter of time. Uh, <laughs> well, then it sounds like it's still up for grabs, isn't it? I like your attitude. Checks the gun. But if you get in the way, we will shoot you. No hard feelings, all right? Okay. Don't worry. If you don't do anything stupid, I'm sure you'll get along with Vilnus just fine. Uh, so who is this Vilnus? He is, well... He's not the captain of the ship, Spreditus, but everyone, including the captain, listens to him. So he's sort of a leader for this small group of people I'm with. All right, where can I find him? On the promenade right in the middle of the station. That's where the bar, the shop, and the dance floor are. All right, let's change the topic. Uh, what's up? Can I ask you a question? Ah, uh, well, we're definitely going to try our charm out because we have high charm. Uh... Uh, do we do that first? Maybe it'll make any of these easier and any checks we get inside of these. Let's try that first. Yeah, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tricky. Come on. Success! Awesome. My name is Finn Allison, but people usually call me Finn Alley. Sometimes jokingly, Miss Finale. Why? I guess I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, Finn Alley sounds awfully close to Finale. Uh, but it's mostly, most likely because of my YOLO attitude. Often getting me into trouble. Uh, YOLO? <laughs> yeah, didn't they say this is like 2300? People are, are still using, uh, 2000 slang. Alright. You know that saying, you only live once? This is like, this would be like meeting somebody who says like 23 skidoo. <laughs> this is hilarious. Alright. You know that saying, you only live once? I decided a long time ago, well, I only live once and I'm not gonna rot, uh, in some old space wreck barely surviving. I want to get to Earth no matter what. Well, I've got a ship from Earth, right? So I jump from station to station, from shipwreck to shipwreck, always looking for a way to inch closer to my goal. I take chances, and as a consequence, more often than not, I end up in a tricky situation. Not unlike this here, where I got to wonder, sometimes loudly, is this your finale, finale? You talk to yourself out loud. What'd you expect, I'm a stereotypical lone, <laughs> lone wanderer? You're always on your own, you start to get weird. Uh, alright, let's try our speech out. You know, I could get you to Earth. The Earth. Success. Awesome. What do you mean? You have- you only have a small shuttlecraft. Ah, but it's from a bigger ship. You're not kidding. Okay. Let's assume it's true. You have a ship, but... Uh, yeah, we'll just tell her. But she needs a fuel regulator. Oh, uh, really? Oh, well, I don't want to lie to her. Alright, let's we'll just go with the truth. Uh, but she needs a fuel regulator. We were attacked. The engines were damaged by an ion torpedo. Ah, I see. Sepakota did a number on you. Uh, so you're scouring the wrecks for that part. For the part. Makes sense. Uh, Sepakota. What is Sepakota? Sepakota is a ship, while originally an engineering support vessel, after the rebellion, uh, the crew became sort of pirates. While usually they scavenge the wrecks like the rest of us, sometimes they engage ships or raid survivor hubs, uh, to take what they need by force. Uh, thankfully, we managed to escape. If you ask me, I'd say these guys are the reason no one tries to help us. Why would anybody help outlaws and space raiders? Uh, alright. Anyways, my point was, with your knowledge of junk space and my experience, we would find the regulator in no time. That is true. 
For example, I wouldn't be looking on a, for a fuel chip on this station, for starters. Uh, we'll go with why not. Why not? This is a station, not a ship. Stations don't have engines. Do you see the problem here? No engine, no fuel regulator. Alright, that's good, because I'm here looking for fuel. Uh, actually, that was not my intent. I had to make an emergency stop here because my shuttle ran out of fuel. Out of fuel? Sheesh, man. Did a black cat zigzag in front of you this morning? <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Your pitch. I'm not feeling it. You may have a ship nearby, even though that could also be bullshit, but let's assume you have it. Uh, you need that engine part. And you also have a frickin' Sepakota hot on your tail. Trust me, they won't give up so easily. And to top it off, you literally stuck here without fuel for your shuttle. Well, when you put it like that. But, I would be okay with winging it. I guess throwing caution to the wind. Should be okay with throwing caution to the wind. Uh, hold your horses. I'd join you if you get the fuel and if we can launch right away. I'm ready to take that chance. Uh, it'd be easier if you helped me. Kid, I'm not even 100% sure you're telling the truth. Right now my chances are better without stirring up trouble with the guys here. Uh, don't want to burn potential bridges just yet, but as I said, I'm ready to risk it if you have a functional shuttle. Alright, we'll ask her what convinced her. Yeah. I mean, she wants to get to Earth, so she already kind of told us, but we'll ask. We'll see what she says. What, has, what convinced you? Uh, your equipment. It's brand new. The shuttle. I haven't seen this model before. It looks a bit like it's from the future. And you seem young. Way too young for the junk space. Rebellion took place 20 years ago, and since everyone's sterile, there's no way you could be from around here. Hence, I have a gut feeling you're telling the truth. Smart. Well, I'm glad you decided to help me. All right, deal. When I find the fuel cell for my shuttle, I'll drop by. Until then, I think I'll stick to my original plan. Uh, what's your original plan? Uh, can't discuss it, doesn't involve you. Okay. Alright, see you later. Alright, well this dude's nice to us, so... We're gonna poke around. Uh, I think we have a bathroom key, but let's start with, uh, we'll check this guy's... This guy's whole world. Uh, he's got a screwdriver, we'll take that. We've got two screwdrivers in case we break one. And we're not too heavy yet. Alright. We unlocked the bathroom using our key card, and we will welcome the terminal cat tube access key card. Awesome. Oh, I wonder if that's the key card we need for here. I don't. I guess we don't need it. Let's we'll see if maybe this doesn't open. Um. All right. Uh. We can check out this. Oh, it's the toilet terminal. Well, let's see what it does. Please pay one pure coin <laughs> to use the facilities. I love it. We're gonna hack the toilet. Yes, <laughs> we've hacked the, the restroom. I can enter the bathroom. All right. Hmm. All right. Let's step into this room. All right. So my one request to the developer. Yeah. Uh, right now the camera is controlled by WASD. I would really love a uh, middle mouse click uh, to control the cat to move the camera around. Pan of the round would be fantastic. All right. We unlocked that door. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it just comes through here. That's fine. Uh, and. I have seen this before. If you have the appropriate skills and tools, if you can't get through a door, sometimes there's a vent you can crawl through, but you need to have the appropriate skills and tools to unlock it. Um, let's check down this stair- uh, Let's check down this staircase for now. And see what's down here. We may have to run. We are out in the void of space, that's fine. Um, there's a locked container and a strange noise. A little worried about that, but Sleeping pills, I think those are inside there. Alright, let's start with, uh, checking this container. It is locked. Maybe we'll find some keys on somebody. Uh, this container is locked with an electronic lock. You need the correct key card to open it. Um, we'll hold off for now because we might find key cards. We'll check the surveillance terminal. We're good hackers, so hopefully there's an ability to hack. We'll check the sensors. Most of the cameras are either down or display, uh, movement through dark, narrow corridors. Uh, one showing some kind of shop interior, but on one screen labeled Promenade, there's a group of four to five people interacting with some kind of door. Speak to them via the intercom. We'll come back to that. We're gonna do that, but I want to search this room more. I want to see what's, what all this stuff is. There's remains, there's all this stuff out and about. So, we just gotta be careful we don't accidentally bump into danger. Alright, we found sleeping pills. We'll take them. Universal bathroom unit. Relieve yourself. Alright. You sit down on the weird cylindrical throne. 
Suddenly, your buttocks are almost sucked into the opening, sealing the sides tight. It takes a couple of minutes, but finally you relieve yourself, accompanied by a clunk and moist thumping sounds. You press the button, and your bottom is released. The lid closes while a bit scared, maybe even scarred. Nevertheless, you feel much better now. <laughs> End procedure. Open the panel on the side. All right. I mean, it's a toilet. Let's well check what's inside. You never know. An empty fecal container and a suspicious sealed container. <laughs> With biohazard sign on the lid and a small valve. Yeah, we're not opening that. <laughs> we're not going to take that or open it. All right, there's a vent to get into another room. You know, we'll go ahead and use our hairpin to see if we can get through there, if we can. Uh, or maybe a screwdriver. We'll see what happens. Uh, you see a standard ventilation access hatch. You can feel a slight but persistent draft inwards. It seems this is the main way uh, air gets into the next room. You could also squeeze through if you were small enough. Let's try to get in. All right, we got in, and we are in, and we haven't uncovered. There we go. All right, I was gonna say we haven't uncovered the. There's another one. All right, we'll try it again. We're definitely coming back out to all this, but oh, geez. Yeah, there's a little. Oh shit. Let's do this. There's a sneak button down here. We're in sneak mode. Yeah, it's it can be very slow to uncover the fog sometimes. Like I don't. I guess it's my perception. All right, we won't go in there just yet. Actually, is there a wall there? It looks like there's a wall there. Let's try it. Let's try it. We may have to run right back in. Oh, okay, cool. We're on the outside. A little worried. Oh! A fuel cell. There's another vent. Okay, let's go see where this vent goes. Oh, wow. Due to catastrophic ineptitude, you manage to destroy the tool while trying to unscrew the hatch. Catastrophic ineptitude. How many, how many do I have? It was screwdrivers, right? I have one screwdriver left. Let's go for it. One more time. And we did it. Man, where are we? This is interesting. I have not been here before. Nerve-wracking. Man, my perception is probably too- Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay. There's a bunch of containers. There's a system control. There's a dead body. There's a vent. We have one screwdriver left. Oh, I hope we don't have to keep unscrewing these things. I hope I didn't just lock myself here. Walolo card. A card for the game called For the Adventures in Glory. There's an old man in a long dark robe with a curved staff in one hand, and he appears to be chanting something. The description reads, Walolo priests can confuse man and creatures alike, tricking them into changing sides. All right. You keep walking. Did I take it? I didn't take it. We'll take it. I don't know what it does, but we're not too heavy, so we'll take it. We're gonna keep... No, that's through a wall. Thought I, I thought I found a way to get the fuel cell. Oh, nice. Is that headless remains? Tough to say. All right. Overall screwdriver, piece of pipe. All right, well, we definitely need a screwdriver. Light engineering spacesuit. It's in poor condition. What is this? Oh, another vent. All right. Uh, fuck it, let's keep rolling these dice on vents, huh? We're through. Let's go to these shelves. Nice to know he'll still fly out. Small valve, electric... Alright. Nice to know he'll still fly, even when I am sneaking. Alright, there's another hairpin that's good. A trash token? A hexagonal piece of metal with a hole in the middle. We'll take it. It could be like how we needed the bathroom card. Maybe there's like trash we need to get into. Can, junk, and chemicals. An O2O socket. All right, we're going to keep taking tools if we can hold on to them. Tools and oddities seem like a good idea. All right. There's a vent and a vent. There's two vents. We'll try this vent. Bzzz, we're through. Wait, what? All right, nothing happened with that vent. Interact. All right, we're through on this vent as well. We're not, though. There's three vents. There, we're finally through. Alright, there's a troll card. A Wololo card, we already have one of those. Uh, you can't interact with things you're standing on top of, interestingly enough. Alright. A troll card is a card for the game called For the Adventure in Glory. It features an enormous towering creature the size of a small mountain on the front, and the description says... Hiding deep in the forests among rocks and stones of mountain 
Trolls are terrifying primal. Trolls are a terrifying primal force when angered. Uh, it has a power rating of five. All right. I wonder if there will be a mini game in the final game uh, called Wololo. All right, there's a wall terminal. We'll check that out. Can we check that out? I don't seem to be able to get to it. All right, there's another vent. Man, we are the vent kings of the universe here. What's all this? All right, we're gonna try the vent. And we're through. Oh, shit. All right, we're gonna come out of sneak and hope for the best. All right, we, man, we really abandoned the whole track of... We're going back to do that. That's happened. I'm going... I want to see all that stuff. <laughs> we'll talk to this guy first. I hope. Somebody. I like that. That's cool. You don't know their name automatically. Whoa, hey there. I never expected to meet anybody down here. Um, well, that makes both of us. Who are you? Uh, we're, um, explorers. I mean, scavengers. We? Uh, me and my bros. That's our ship parked on the east dock. Hard to miss it. Uh, you can find the rest of the gang upstairs on the promenade. Mind if I ask you a question? Shoot! Uh, what's with that door? That's ours. We call dibs on whatever is in there first. You can't be serious. Dibs? Nah, -uh, that's a rule, man. <laughs> we were here first, and when we get when we get to claim stuff, you better back off that room. He lightly taps his weapon. I'm serious, man. I see. Do you mind if I ask you another question? Uh, what are you doing here? My pal needs a certain part to patch up stuff, patch stuff up, and I'm looking for it around the station. Uh, that's how we keep her running: scavenge and patch, rinse and repeat. Uh, what kind of replacement part? Perhaps it's a fuel regulator. Let's start with that. Nah, man, all of ours are fine. Those things don't really break, you know? Uh, no, we're looking for some kind of valve. Uh, I don't know what it looks like exactly, but he said there should be, uh, the words B21, B521 written somewhere on it. I see, where were we? So, you're looting, right? Uh, say, since you're exploring anyways, mind if we stick together? Might be safer, no? Challenging. Ah, uh, but I have high speech. Oh, nice! What happens now? He strokes his chin, I guess he strokes the bottom of his space helmet. Um, you know, you might be right. There's an awful lot of those cam bots and they are not joking. Actually, we lost one of our own to those zapping bastards. Yeah, let's try to stick together. Grand, let's go then. Alright, this is fucking hilarious. We need to talk about how we work together. Uh, let's see what that does. I want to give you something. Let me give him the gun. Sure, but just so we're clear- oh, he has a gun. Don't touch my clothing or my keys. Uh, and if you give me something, it's mine for keeps, okay? Sure, whatever. Alright, so we can exchange stuff with him. Uh, don't touch his car, his keys, or his clothing. He's got a gun. We're fine with that. Let's, uh, we'll take him around. I'm gonna start with this terminal. Disable security. We'll try that again. Miss secu missing security ID card. Yeah, I'm assuming we didn't disable all security, because there's still these things from- Ah, oh, boo. Alright. Unauthorized access detected switch off. I'm imagining that's, uh, one and done. I wonder if there's any way to unlock. Yeah. Alright, so we failed. There's nothing we can do about that. I wonder if there's a way to, uh, redo any failed checks. Alright, he doesn't seem to be following us any further. I don't know if he's stuck because of pathfinding, or maybe we've used him up. He won't go any further. RC controller. Remote control component. Hmm. Alright, we'll take it. We'll take it. I don't know what it does, but we're gonna take it. No, oh, there's more of them. Alright, it's not unique. Let's go have a look. The fuel bunker door is locked. We don't have a fuel bunker key or key card. We will still touch on the door and hopefully that doesn't ruin anything. Uh, the only things I can interact with are the door. And the ladder. Oh, the, oh, that's the vent I came through. All right, let's see what the fuel bunker door does. Locked with an electronic lock. I could tinker. I don't think we really have high tinker. Uh, let's check the ladder up. Where are we? Oh, we're over here. All right. Is there like a button to get back to the character? No, there isn't. All right, so that's another request. Can we get a button to get back to the character? All right, somebody. Uh, we'll take chicken nuggets. We're getting a little heavy, but is what it is. Let's see what this computer says. Uh, please use another terminal. All right, technical difficulties. We'll try that one. 
A cash register. Log in. Let's hack it. I probably should have logged in first. I might have locked if I logged in wrong. Success! Withdraw cash. Cash. Alright, let's see what happens. Starting shift, unlocking cash register, switch off. You transferred 213 pure coins to your wallet. Alright, we needed one pure coin to use a bathroom, so that's good to know. Actually, let's see what login does on this. Mm, no, we're that's it. Oh, there's a fridge. We'll talk to this lady. Uh, hey, let's read her personality. Challenging. What did I put all these points into this? Oh, nice, we got one. Good. <laughs> An obvious outsider of this group, this woman is definitely hiding something, and by the looks of it, she's been doing it for years. The secret is weighing on her heavily. Besides that, there's something else more acute and recent going on, occupying her mind, stressing her out even more. Interesting. Let's dig deeper. For some reason, she wants to distance herself from you. Feels like she'd like to share, but you are clearly not the right person, so instead she just wants to be left alone. I guess we'll say hi. What's up? <laughs> All right. Uh, wait in awkward silence. Yeah, let's wait in awkward silence. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, we're making her say more stuff. Uh, you know, I have stuff to do. Later, she turns away. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> uh, well, there's people here. Man, my perception is way too low to even be real. We'll start with you. We'll read the personality. Failure. <laughs> she looks like a normal, typical woman. Mind if I ask you a question? Actually, I do mind. I'm afraid Vilnus will just run downstairs the moment he breaks the lock without thinking and look around for a second. Uh... Why shouldn't he? Uh, the station is full of cam bots for some reason, and I think there could be more downstairs. There should be a security terminal somewhere to disable them, and since I don't see one around here, it must be behind this locked door. Uh... I saw one downstairs when I was coming here. Downstairs. Oh, right below us, uh, but still outside the fuel bunker door? Makes sense. We should disable the cam bots... Uh, from it. Oh, um... Yeah. I think it not, not- I didn't see a cam bot downstairs, we saw a terminal downstairs. Yeah, let's go. I'll just get my suit on. Alright, we can go. I hope you know where you're going because I don't know the station at all. Lead the way and I'll follow you. Try to avoid trouble if you can. Alright, done. We're going down here. Come with me. Where are you going? Why aren't you coming? You guys are on my team now. Here we are, this is the terminal I was talking about. Boom! Ha! Turns out it was really nearby indeed. Didn't think it would be so close. Approaches the terminal and starts interacting. Wait! Something's wrong. I can't get in. Damn, the security is tough. Really? Let me try. I wonder if this will unlock... Oh, no. Oh, it's impossible. Impossible? Failure. This terminal has surprisingly tough security redundancies in place. Uh, you fail to bypass all of them. Shit, do we have a plan B? Hold your horses. We can still get in with the right key card. I don't have it. I wonder if it's still on the station. One step at a time. Whatever happened here happened very quickly, and a lot was left behind in the evacuation. Tap some keys. Uh, I say we try to find this guy, Casimir Nowak, or his room. Who's that? I managed to pull up the access log, probably because there's almost nothing valuable, only dates and names, uh, and I can see this Casimir Nowak guy has accessed this terminal a lot. All right, but where do we find him? We only have a name. There should be an employee database in the station security office. Just get me there, and I'll find his record, I'm for sure. Alright. Let's find the security station. Is This is the security station. Boom! Uh, you're in my way, Ingrid. Alright, I came out of this vent. I'm going back into the vent. Thank you. My companion's too big! Oh, you bastards. Alright, well, where did these stairs come from? Oh, these are from the intro. We're gonna figure it out. We'll get her to that thing, and that'll probably be where we leave this one. We'll see what she does. Please don't be robots. Alright, so far so good. Oh, nice! We're good! Uh, first things first, though, I do have to raid this room of all stuff. And we're gonna go this way. Alright, guys, follow me, I hope. You guys need to be my protectors. All right, that looks like docking terminal three. All right, so far so good. Sleeping pills and stay awake pills, we'll take them both. And a computer, may as well. May as well mess with all the computers on the way. Experiencing difficulties, try another computer, that's fine. 
Nothing else in this room, right? All right. All right, please don't be filled with... Ah, oh, shit. There's a cam bot. That's a bot, right? Oh, no, it's remains of a bot. Awesome. Let's go check it out. Shock baton. Kroger security key card. Awesome. That could be useful. Uh, we'll step right to here. Shit. Okay. We're, we're sorry. My bad. We're stepping out of the way. Where does this go? It's a locked elevator. We're not going to check it out right now. We will soon, though. I'm pretty sure this is the stairs downstairs. Hopefully, the cam bot is still my friend out here. It seems like it is. We'll go downstairs. Hopefully, it is not angry at them. Oh, they automatically come with me. Uh, I don't think I covered what the game-breaking bug was uh, for me, but I'll mention it here um, so you can choose to either use or avoid it. Um, I had found that if I was next to a locked door, uh, that if there was a staircase near that door, I could right-click on the staircase and click Interact, and I would be teleported through the locked door and down the staircase. Uh, much like these two were teleported with me, um, without them having to pass that cam bot. I don't know if the cam bot would have gotten angry at them, or if it's going to be friendly to all of my followers. But either way, that teleported me through a locked door without having to open and have the tools, have the skills, whatever. Um, and I did that right outside this fuel room. Um, I guess I got through... I was probably upstairs, and I got into the fuel room via a staircase. Um, and I just was in immediately... There's like five or six cam bots in here, and was just like surrounded by them. But I, because it's turn-based, I just panic grabbed one of the fuel cells, ran back upstairs. And the reason it could be game-breaking uh, is because there's no staircase outside of the door on the on on the other side, so I had no way to get back out. I could get in because there was a staircase on the inside of the door, but I couldn't get out because there's no staircase on the other side of the door. I was able to find my way to another locked door that did have a staircase outside, and was able to circumvent my way back to the original landing pad and just use the fuel uh, to get out to see what that would do. Um, before we tell her what to do, we're going to check all these remains. All right. Let's go talk to uh, Ingrid, was it? Oh, you know what? We have a security key card. Let's go in here first. Awesome. A police baton, electric cartridge. I mean, I guess that makes sense. A fire extinguisher, an E-pack. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we know where- No, 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 don't go there. Alright, let's try to unlock this container. And then once we do all- Oh, it's just another gun. This all makes sense. It's the security station. Let's try the surveillance terminal. Actually, we already looked at this. Good. I was gonna say, we want to leave it if there is- Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh my god, he won't stop. Alright, cool. Ingrid! Uh... We're here we are. The terminal's over there. Boots up the computer. Let's see. Casimir, Casimir, here you are. Interesting, she was able to find that, but I only found sensors. Uh, he has a bed and a locker in the communal bedroom below the space dock north. Communal bedroom. I guess it was silly to express that he had such luxury as his own room. Uh, there should be a dormitory somewhere for the station staff. I guess that's where we're heading next. Let's see what's inside that locker. Uh, a bed and a locker room below spaceport north. So... I'm guessing that's technically north. That's probably... Because if this was it, there'd be a bed in there and we don't see one. So, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get that taken care of. I was thinking about uh, stopping it here, but I'm having fun and I'd like to see if we can... Oh, wow. Did this all get refogged? All right, that's fine. Um, I would like to... Um, see if we can get something accomplished. Let's see what happens if I touch this elevator. We've got these cam bots here I'm a little worried about. All right, here's a lock. I'm going to try to tinker with this lock. Let's see what it does. Tricky. And I have a one. Oh, success. Nice. You successfully identify the lock mechanism, actuator, controller, and quickly short circuit the right pathways using your hairpin. The door is now open. All right. Let's see where it takes me. Oh, cool. VR control terminal. Another bathroom unit, a fridge. Uh, let's interact with the VR terminal. Uh, F it, Q. What is the VR suite? Uh, VR stands for virtual reality. The suite refers to a large deluxe apartment with all the, uh, amenities and state-of-the-art room-scale VR system built in. 
best form of entertainment in the whole belt. All right, excellent. Uh, how does it work? Uh, two major components uh, for this VR equipment, a VR headset and a VR room projector. The headset provides the best audio-visual feedback and being right there, simulation on this side of the galaxy. Um, the other crucial part of this is the VR projector. It is a mosaic of very precise lasers that emit finely tuned projection rays onto your body that trigger various sensations on demand according to the simulation. You can feel temperature, temperature, touch, even grip, and sometimes pain, uh, well within comfortable range. You must be naked to use this system. What? <laughs> can I get hurt? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Let's launch it. Let's just... Oh, the program's missing. Okay, cool. I was going to be like, let's throw caution to the wind. All right, well, we know we can get up here if we find a VR program. We can take off all our clothes and use VR. All right. Check out this computer. Man, you guys really don't want to follow me too closely, huh? Uh, broken. I think we've seen this already. Yeah, we've been all through here. This is the back way. You guys interested in following me? Thank you. Why did you go that way? You're gonna die! Oh no. Well, you're kind of on your own. Man. Ooh, nice. Something missed. Alright, we're gonna get ourselves... Oh, you know what I could do? I can Maybe I can shut these guys off. Who's there? I hear ya. Can I use this? Oh my god, who is this? It's Jenka. You're gonna die, Jenka. Alright. Disable security. Come on. Hack. Challenging. I've got good skills in sci tech. Come on! <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe I can get them to follow me out of here. Jacob, what are you doing? Why are you doing what you're doing? These are not the smartest things for you to be doing. Oh, boy. I'm not allowed to... Try to look innocent, harmless, and pitiful to invoke sympathy from the enemy. That is friggin' hilarious. All right, let's... Scan the vitals. Janka looks severely injured. Yeah, you're done for. Oh, uh, I don't know why you did that. And I can't get out of combat until she gets out of combat. There she goes. Dead. Oh, evaded. I mean, her own people don't want to help her. <laughs> a lizardman card. Whatever, we'll take it. Alright, and I can't move these things, right? I can only open them. Alright. Oh, here comes the, uh... Here comes the cam bot. Why did you take off your spacesuit? Why did you take off your spacesuit? Also, that person got fried and I didn't even get to see it. Uh, might have the key card according and talk about how we work together. I wanted to give you something. Yeah, don't touch your clothing. I got it. You have a track suit and a light engineer space suit. Its condition is 42% for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why you're out of your space suit, but... Ugh. What is it? What do these stairs do? Have we been down here? Uh, why are you out of your spacesuit and, like, completely not following me? Oh, she died. She came down and died. Uh. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go... loot her body. Hopefully these stay unlocked. Why? Why did you take off your spacesuit and then come down to where there's no... Alright, we'll take your cards, I suppose. I don't have a reason to take anything else off of you. Oh, I don't know why she did that. Well, we'll see what happens. Alright, this should be the bedroom. This has to be the bedroom. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Oh. Thank you. I have another screwdriver. 
Yes, you're awesome. All right, let's step in and unlock all this. Yep, this is the room. All right, cool. I mean, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> uh, Q bar employee card. Nice. Another screwdriver. We can always use that. Uh, let's check my to-do log now that they're all dead. Escape the room. That's fine. Casimir's card. Yeah. All right, we have a Q bar card. Does it say if this is Casimir Nowak? No. Engineer in dirty old worker attire. I guess we'll check these also one by one. <laughs> a screen slate. Let's see what that is. All right, we have a Q bar card. Oh, come on. All right, let's try it. Tricky. Success. Awesome. We successfully identified the lock mechanism. We will open the door and step inside. All right, it's just a bathroom. Oh, shit. I can look at, I can talk to it, I can pickpocket it. I guess let's step in and see if it freaks out. I don't know why. Yeah, it does. It freaks out. All right, goodbye. I'm not messing with you. We, okay, so this has to be the north bed. Everybody's dead now. I mean, whatever. That's on you guys. Uh, workstation, Lakta 2001-11, select operation mode, construction. Uh, oh, it makes things. All right, cool. Uh, a shock mine. Interesting. A repair kit. That's also interesting. I wonder if a repair kit would repair my suit if it got broken. Hmm. Oh, who needed B521? I think a dead person did. I'm not strong enough to carry all this. All right, well, we can get rid of some stuff. I don't need this trash token. Dumpus, a mechanic for the scavenger group, needs a replacement. Uh, valve for article B521. I don't even remember where Dumpus is. That has to be one of the guys that got killed. And continue. I love the way they sneak. That is a really good animation. That makes me very happy. All right, the top infirmary. Have we been up there? It's open. Wide open. Stay awake pills. No, I haven't been up here. Lots of space food. Cyclo, we haven't seen whatever that is yet. Let's grab it. Cyclobenzadrenaline. All right, well, let's... Uh, that guy looks dangerous. Let's talk to this guy. Pretty sure this is the... I think this is Vilnus. Keep away from the door, and we'll have no problems. All right. What's so special about this door? Nice. There's a freaking treasure behind this door. A treasure? Really? Like gold and gems? <laughs> no, you dumb dumb. This is access to the fuel bunker, which is still full of precious juice. That's way better than gold. Uh, yeah, let's try. Do you need help perchance? Challenging. Boo. We've got it. No worries. All right, then. I mean, I got a B-521. Who the hell is Dumpus? All right, I'm not going to touch that door. I guess we'll try talking to this guy. Somebody. Maybe this is Dumpus. A giant man in a heavy spacesuit slowly turns his head and looks at you. And looks? A giant... Uh, <laughs> Come on. What did I dump all this stuff into? Oh, nice. Good, 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 good. While someone might easily label this tall, strong individual as the group's muscle, you get a sense that there's more behind the facade than he lets on. He is quiet, does not engage in discussions easily, but you feel it's because he's not really interested in those conversation topics. You carefully examine his apparel, trying to discover any clue to what could interest this bear. You suddenly notice a small metal badge on a spacesuit. It does not seem to have come with the apparel. More likely, this is an intentional garment. Uh, the badge looks like a hexagon with triangles inside of it. There are numbers all around it, 2, 8, 14, and in the very middle, proudly, 20. Uh, let's see if I know what this is. Oh, nice, I do know what it is, because I have SciTech. You immediately... <laughs> you immediately recognize D20 Gaming Dice, a symbol of tabletop role-playing games. It is an, undeni it is an undeniable nerd insignia. <laughs> Edsis is a huge nerd, huh? Okay, so I guess this is Edsis. Uh... 
That badge, you're a tabletop player? I am a dungeon master. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> All right. Cool. How often do you guys play? Never. But you said you're a game master. On Earth, we had a group. Not so much on the ship. Ouch, that's tough. Stuck with people that have you have little in common. Uh... Yeah, let's see. Maybe we'll get him to follow me. Not exactly nothing in common, but... Indeed, they mostly do not care for the things I am interested in, and have little to talk about as a consequence. I do wish I was on Earth. Funny thing I didn't tell you about me. I'm the captain of a passenger ship that broke down in the middle of junk space. As soon as I find a working fuel chip and a bit of fuel, we'll leave for Earth. I'm pretty sure I can free up space for one ad additional person if you can help me. Yeah, of course we're saying all that. Thanks, but I must decline. I don't know you well enough, <laughs> and the group has a plan. It would be foolish to risk it now. What kind of plan? Says nothing. All right. Uh. Yeah, let's. I wish you would reconsider. As I said already, thanks, but I must decline. I don't know you well enough, and the group has a plan. I understand. All right. All right, sir. All right. So I'm. I'm guessing there's no way to finish this quest now. Which is fine. I mean, I, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Alright. Let's go see what their ship's all about. What is this? Spartitus Hull Cargo Keycard and a Screwdriver. Alright. Alright, so we got the keycard. That was a person. Somebody. Alright, hopefully they're, like they already said, if we don't have a weapon on us, they won't hurt us. Oh, okay, good. Oh, hello. You're new. Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm looking for fuel. Well, you're in the right place, but I must disappoint you. All the easy fuel is long gone. What's left is probably tucked away behind tightly locked doors, and unfortunately for you, we've got a claim on it already. Uh, what do you mean? Did you get to it already? As far as I know, Vilnus and the guys are about to break through any moment now. Maybe you can trade for it then. So it's still up for grabs. <laughs> Tread carefully now, lad. I know it looks like we're real good chumps here, but trust me, if you cross any of us, you'll regret it. There are just so many of us against you alone, so be smart. Uh, do you mind if I ask you a question? What do you want to know? All right, what's that thing on the landing pad? The ship, I guess. Oh, I see. Uh, what's that thing on the landing pad? That's that thing I think I just stole from. Whoops. <laughs> That's one of our engine power conduits. It's as old as the world itself and should have been replaced eons ago, but we don't get new stuff here, do we? I have to keep these things running with duct tape and hope. Can I help somehow? Not unless you got a- I do have a B5- Oh, you must be Dumpus. Awesome. Not unless you got a B521 valve laying around. Uh, but seriously, if you see something like that, uh, while looting, come by. Uh, could this be it? Oh, fantastic. Looks good. Say, I'll give you 20 electric cartridges for this. Deal? Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Takes the part and immediately starts working on the component, not paying much attention to anything else around. All right. Oh, what does that mean? Do we risk it? He's no, if I go in there, he's not paying much attention. Can I examine him? Let me look at him. It's nobody special. Oh, <laughs> uh, it says he's not paying attention. It'd be nice to go on their ship, but he's just going to fucking kill me if I do that. Let's do this. We're in sneak. He can see me there. But he can't see me here. Sort of? Yeah, he can't see me. He's not looking at me. And I got a key card. Alright, we're on their ship. Boom. I hear doors opening. Terrifying. I'm assuming they have cam bots. I mean, did I need to get anything out of here? What we're gonna look for is we'll steal their fuel. Oh man, they got a gigantic ship! Jeez Louise! Oh my god, my perception is- is terrible. Can I, like, get in here? How do I get in here? Unlock. Yeah, they do. They have a cam bot and a person. Oh, Jesus. So scary. Alright, so we'll stay out of there, but at least we know what that looks like now. Uh... We want to find their fuel. Oh, yes! Look at that. Engine control terminal. All right, first, fuel. 
We'll take one. All right. And try to get back without getting ourselves into too much trouble. I think we just won. We shall see. We're going to stop and talk to our friend. Although, I think I got to get a spacesuit for her. Ooh, you know what we'll do? We'll check a dead body. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get shot when I get out of here, aren't I? We'll find out. Hopefully he doesn't get too pissy. All right. He doesn't seem to care. We'll come out of sneak. And we'll go in here. All right, so far so good. Looks like we did it. Okay. I got to find one of those dead bodies. Not his. The lady downstairs has one. And the best way to get to her is there or here. Let's try that. Nope, he won't do it. All right, that's fine. We'll go here. All right. Light engineer spacesuit. Done. I'm full. That's okay. We want to pick up Finale. And I think she's going to need a spacesuit. I probably should have gotten her a new one. Oh, I don't know if she's going to wear... I don't know why this person took off their spacesuit is the problem. Are you ready to go fuel chip hunting? Is the shuttle refueled? I got the fuel cell right here. Cool, cool, cool. I guess this is it, isn't it? I'm about to YOLO again, am I not? Uh, don't answer. I'm talking to myself. Okay. So, Finale. Is this the happy Finale? Let's hope that you don't have to regret this decision. Let's go. Why are you standing? I was talking to you. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Uh, let's talk to her one more time. We need to talk about how we work together. I want to give you something. Sure. Uh, you are going to take... Light Engineer Spacesuit. There you go. Boom. Why are you not putting it on? I don't know. Will she just... She's going to die. I mean, this could just be a bug. I mean, that could be something they're going to work out. All right, she's not following me, so at least she's smart enough not to do that. Let's go see what happens when I touch the shuttle. I know when I touch the shuttle, I'm going to fuel it. I don't know what happens to her. All right, access the shuttlecraft. All right, hold on. Welcome to Balta Shuttlecraft. Uh, note, the shuttlecraft can be used by authorized personnel only. Make sure you have the correct key fob on you before you... Yeah, we have that. We know it. Authorize. Take off. Refuel. All right. Refueled. Return to main controls. Uh, I guess we can radio in that we did well and we're bringing somebody home. Let's see if that's a thing. Uh, hello, is that you, Captain? Yes. Why are you calling? Is everything all right? Uh, yes. Kind of. I just wanted to tell Yeah, end transmission. All right. I guess we'll go talk to her one more time. Oh, there she goes. She's gonna die. She's gonna die. All right, that has to be... A bug. There is there there's is there a way to make her I gave her a spacesuit. I gave you a spacesuit. <laughs> put it on. Can I make you put it on? Oh god. Okay. Alright. Oh boy. Ha ha ha. That was scary. Alright. Uh I guess we're good. I mean she just she's just gonna come with me, right? Yeah, there she is. I mean this has to count, right? This counts. I'm gonna call it, it counts. <laughs> Alright, let's access the shuttlecraft. She's with me. That's, she's with me. Get on the shuttle. Authorize. Uh, yeah, I guess we take off. Continue to the space wreck. And so the story about the young, inexperienced captain that got its ship hijacked on the first trip had come to an end, and for everyone involved, life moved on. While it took some effort and a bit of time, uh, you did manage to get fuel and continue your quest. You chose to mind your own business and not to interfere, well, not to interfere much with the agenda of other visitors on the station. Uh, you came and left, never learning exactly what they were doing here or what happened to the crew of that ship afterwards. I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, they got themselves killed and there was nothing I could do about it. And one of them just took off their suit for some reason and died. <laughs> I don't know why she took off her suit, but end of the demo. All right, so that's the same ending I got because technically I got fuel and um, 
and took off in the time that I, I uh, was able to cheese it <laughs> by breaking the game. Alright, so like I mentioned, you can check this out via the free demo on Steam. Uh, depending on when you're watching this or when I upload it, there's probably already new content added to the demo, as the dev mentioned. Uh, they'll be adding stuff for Next Fest for February 2022 uh, on Steam. And I guess uh, I'll probably return to this, if not, to see what's in the new demo. Uh, certainly when it comes out, I'm sure I'll check in on it. But I guess uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me come back to Space Rec particularly, or if there's anything else you might want me to check out for a potential future free play episode. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you next time.